wild game has appeared. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's take a look, guys. In three, two, one. Oh, that's pretty good. Some people are saying that Travis is Rick. <laughs> I think. <laughs> trailer huh i like it it was very cool like but not what you normally not see what you, and not what you would expect after seeing their you know reveal their yeah. gameplay trailers everything so it was very different but i like that anyway. good song uh but obviously we're talking about as it says there the crew uh it's it's i mean published by ubisoft we all know that got pushed back a little bit delayed part of our delay watch not that long ago uh it's developed by ivory tower which is a crew of gents that uh is compiled of people that have been in the racing genre for years or people that have pedigrees from need for speed and uh test drive unlimited um, and a few others so they know what they're doing with racing games and, and you know i feel like they've gotten down what people really want out of a fun enjoyable racing sim it's yeah. almost like in a way um, so in in the crew you can explore 12 distinct cities um, across five territories um, as well as multiple areas in between deserts and forests and mountainsides and stuff like that um, the, like I said there are five territories and it's gonna be the East Coast which is gonna be um, mostly like uh, urban areas urban cities Philadelphia you know New York stuff like that um, the south is going to be more of like a country country setting. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more open, um, whereas the Midwest is going to be a nice combination of the two. It's going to be open and you know rural at the same, you know, but you know cities and stuff like that at the same time. Um, there are the mountain states, and this is the largest region. Um, it's going to be a lot of open world, almost highway racing, kind of like what you would typically find on a game like Need for Speed or something like that, um, around mountain cliffs, even deserts, everything like that. And then West Coast, which is essentially just California. So okay. I don't know why they didn't just call it California, but those are the names that they chose. Um, this is another game in this trend of go anywhere that you see. They claim that anything you see in the game, your car can drive to. Um, if it really is, and it, it lives up to the expectations, this will be the first racing title that's actually lived up, first functional racing title that's actually lived up to what it claims to be, Yeah. Uh, which will be great. Um, now, obviously, the name crew suggests that you'll want to join a crew, and you can. You want to join a crew of at least three other people um, in order to improve your gameplay experience. You can do a lot of things by yourself, but obviously, you know, just as the name implies, it's going to be better done when you have friends to play with you. Sure. So they can help you with missions, but they can also help you on your journey. Um, and along that journey, um, you can use them to challenge you know, their times and everything like that in various other states. Uh, but you also have five different factions to choose from. Um, so when you join the faction, there's shared XP that goes into the faction. Um, you know, and so there's, I think, the, I can't remember what the names of them are uh, or anything like that. I, I forgot to actually write them down. Mm -hmm. um, but when you do this, the more success that you have, the closer you guys come to regional and even 
global or more so U.S. domination. Okay. So, you know, let's say, you know, we're in the wolf faction or something like that, you know, and we are the top, you know, more, we have more people that are top ranking for races, you know, and, you know, missions and stuff like that. We'll all of a sudden gain territory of the area. The, the, the faction that has the most territories um, at a time, uh, every month we'll get an extra story mission each month, so it'll be extra free stuff. Um, and you'll get, from this, you'll get extra DLC, like, uh, add-ons to your cars and stuff like that to improve your gameplay experience. Cool. I'm just going to acknowledge these real quick. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, Top Notch 1986, Ubiquitous Caesar, uh, TMAX 4000, I'm Drew 115, and finally Lost Without Lean. Those are all our Twitch hearts. Thank you so much. And we also had two YouTube subscriptions that just happened from Jimmy Rosas and also uh, Dill Rob X. Thank you, both of you, for your YouTube subscriptions. Um, please, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, we archive all episodes, and this episode will go up on our YouTube either tomorrow or Tuesday. So subscribe if you have the chance, and also follow on Twitch. We will shout you out. Very easy now. Just click the little heart button live from PlayStation, and you will become a Twitch follower. Do I ever talk? I said when you aren't ill. I actually feel a lot better now. Good. Do you? I took some leave and then I lay down and I feel better. Good. Are Fine. you relieved? Because I'm relieved. I am. I am. Like that was bad. <laughs> Everything I say is bad. I'm a dad. I have bad, bad dad jokes. Bad dad jokes now. It just happens organically. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, but as you go through the game, you'll be able to get different skill, uh, go and participate in different skill challenges. Um, this is one of the ones that you see here, um, which is like following the arrows. Uh, there's other ones for climbing, where you can take an off-road vehicle and climb up. This is the slalom one that you see right there. Uh, there is also one for jumping, uh, escaping the police, um, and I think those are it. There's, yeah, five. Cool. So, did you want to read those all? Um, no, go ahead. Uh, you can customize your vehicles, and obviously, I mean, everybody, every game allows you to customize your vehicle now, but these, this really impacts the way that your game plays, so it's not just like adding a coat of paint to it or special tires. Um, you'll add <laughs> off-road tires, you'll add, you know, putting your engine towards the back so you can go off-roading even more. Um, there's a lot of different mechanics that you add to your vehicles, and you have a full garage full of them, so certain vehicles will be better with certain upgrades at every different time. Um, and as you're seeing here, there's different types of missions. There's the go-to missions, which is your typical get from A to B in a certain amount of time. Uh, collect where this is a, a new one, where you and your fact and your crew will try to find secret objects hidden in a terrain. Okay. Uh, which is kind of interesting. And you saw it earlier where they were smashing through boxes, uh, which was kind of interesting. Uh, there's also outrun where you have a. Um, it's, it's another one of the typical racing ones where you have checkpoints. You know, so you have a minute left to finish the race, and you go through a checkpoint, and 10 seconds is added on. Okay. So it's another one of those. Um, another different one is a cat and mouse game called Follow, where you're chasing an opponent, and then a regular race. Very cool. So it's not as, I, I'll tell you right now, I was a little surprised. Cause I remember, do you remember before where in the crew you saw like a, they're making it seem almost like heisting, where you would follow like an armed truck. You know, and trying mm. to get the money and everything out of that. Do you remember that? Uh, that was like the very original like mm. reveal trailer. I, I vaguely remember that. I, yes. I feel like they've changed a lot of the game since then. That like was like they... Ubisoft's E3 conference of like 2013 or something mm -hmm. like that when they first revealed it. Yeah. Right. Real quick, uh, thank you again to that awesome anime for the YouTube subscription and also to Lewis Perkins for a YouTube subscription. Really appreciate those guys. And to Twitch Hearts, we've got uh, X Etic uh, General. We also have Brandon Brave Hearts. I am Doza, Evil Toon, and once again, Top Notch. Thank you guys for the Twitch hearts. Keep them coming while, while we wrap up the show. Mm -hmm. um, so in the game, obviously, you're going to earn money, just like you do in every other racing game. But you also earn XP. And with the XP, you'll be able to do certain things, like add car parts uh, for your customization. So like I said, with racing tires, um, you know, special exhaust, stuff like that. Um, you'll also be able to expand and get new cars. Um, but on top of that, you also get perks. And I think they're talking about these. Oh, no, these are the specs. But the perks actually, um, just like in a Call of Duty game, they actually enhance how you play the game. So there's Redline. There's some of them that are called Redline, which is going to increase the top speed for you and your uh, group, as well as On a Dime, which improves your braking, Like a Gloves improves your handling, and Mobile Mechanic, which, just like it sounds, it allows you to repair your vehicle with, you know, that has gotten damaged along the way. Um, so that's actually pretty interesting. Um, they also had specs in here. This is a little bit more, you know, customizable tweaking. Um, there's different specs to, again, fit your play style and what type of racing and everything you're going to go for. So street is going to be for, you know, the illegal racing on the streets of, like, urban areas. Uh, performance specs is going to be good when you're, I guess, off-road. Not off-road, but, like, in the countryside for probably the mountain states. It's going to be a lot of speed and handling at the same time. Um, there's dirt, which is going to be for off-roading. Raid, which is going to be good if there are missions where you have to take down a big heavy vehicle or you might get bumped in 
two other vehicles and everything a lot can take a lot of damage and then circuit which is going to be good for basic racing and everything like that so good timing that was perfect very good timing